Howdy guys, it's Liv here from Neighbourhood. Are you looking to motivate and pull customers through their buyer's journey using call to actions or CTAs? Well, today we're gonna to show you step-by-step -step on how to make CTAs that attract and engage your customers inside HubSpot. As a heads up, if you're keen on learning more with Neighbourhood, we offer a fully comprehensive, easy to follow course so that you're making the absolute most out of your HubSpot investment. Stay tuned for more information at the end of this video. And if you wanna take your learning offline as well, we'll include a downloadable PDF in the description below. Okay, Okay, so here we are inside HubSpot and I'm in the calls to action um, portal and to get here I've gone up to the main navigation, up to marketing, down to lead capture and into CTAs. You might be thinking this is kind of a funny area for it to sit, but lead capture is essentially what CTAs are. It's the way for you to add buttons to your website or landing pages to pull people through to the next stage of their buyer's journey, be it on a blog, um, you may have a CTA to go to an ebook download or to a contact us page. It's essentially how you're getting people to do things on your website. So how do we create one? Well, in this case, as always, we're going to go up to that orange button to create a CTA or a call to action. In here, we have the CTA builder and you can see up here is essentially where the um, CTA transforms in terms of the edits that we make. So in here, let's make it just a simple download button might be a download to a PDF. In this case, we might go download here using that action-orientated language. Um, something as well, you're able to update your button color if you're so using a button. So in this case, we might use the yellow. Um, however, you can change the button style. Perhaps you prefer for it to just be a link. We can just change it like that. So it's just a simple URL link. However, I like the look of a button. You can also choose these different button types. For example, rectangular, a padded, corduroy <laughs> okay that's a corduroy button stripey um, but in this case I'm just going to use a simple um, a simple button like that perfect once we've added in that text we're going to go next and in here you want to make sure that you're using proper naming conventions a big thing inside HubSpot it's very easy to lose track of things especially when you're building out a lot of new assets um, if you're not naming things correctly or best practice so in this case let's make it um, the company let's make it CTA and download for a specific campaign in this case let's just go ebook like so in this case, you have the option to link it specific places. So we can link perhaps to a meeting link if someone wants to contact you now, to a file, which is what we're gonna do, directly to an email address, really helpful for a home page, phone number, again, for maybe a contact page, a HubSpot page or blog post, specifically if you're moving people to another blog on um, an article on your website, to like a next stage blog, or even an external website URL. So in this case, we'll go a file link and then we'll go to browse files and we'll just select something at random here. We also have the option as well to add this, um, add the CTA as part of a campaign. So we can say, we can attribute essentially all of the clicks of that CTA to an overall campaign goal. Super important, so ensure that you do that if there's a campaign um, contextually relevant. And then we can just go save. Now, when you're inside any different, um, any different asset inside HubSpot, be it a landing page, website page, blog, email, you'll be able to insert that CTA wherever you need. And there you have it. You now know how to create a CTA inside HubSpot. And remember, if you're really keen to make the most from your HubSpot investment, Neighborhood actually offer a step-by-step -step course covering marketing, sales, service, and the CMS hub in depth, ensuring that you and your team are best serving your customers while improving your internal processes. We'll include a link for this down below. As well, if you got any value from this video or are keen to learn more about HubSpot, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, if you're after a PDF version of this for later, or you're just passing it on to a mate in need, we'll include a link in the description too.